Hi, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna to share with you something different than my normal videos, which are after the pin videos of what I've done the previous week in my planners, generally my Hobonichis. Uh, so today I'm gonna to share with you the 100 Days Writing Challenge. It is a workbook for authors created by Susie O'Connell. I do have her permission to share this planner with you, or actually this workbook with you um, on YouTube. And in case you're interested in checking it out, I will have her link down below to her website. And also I will have a link to the Facebook group of the 100 Days Writing Challenge. Today is day 23 of the Writing Challenge, but you can jump in anytime. And this challenge is to help you develop a daily writing habit of writing a minimum of 250 words. And I think it's a great challenge and I really love this workbook, which is why I want to share this with you because I haven't seen this particular workbook on YouTube at all, um, unless I'm searching wrong, but I can't find it. And I just wanted to share with you in case this is something that will work for you like it has for me. Now, this is a Kiki K planner. It's an A5 size. I printed this out on A5 on an eight by 11 paper, and then I cut it down I punched holes because this is a six ring binder and then I cut little slits right here so that I don't always have to open my rings. So let's pretend I wanted this page. I can just take it out like that because again, I cut the slits and if I want to punch it back in, I just do this. And it's very similar to the Happy Planner with their uh, disc systems and how their pages are cut like this. So I sort of copied it and used it for my A5 planner binder. So now let's get back to this. So I'm just showing you, because I'm already using this, I'm showing you uh, pages that I haven't used yet. So when you download it, and this is the chicken version, this is what it looks like. And I found this very helpful. So the first page, she uh, describes the challenge and then how it started, why it's effective. She talks about burnout. And if you really have to write 100 days to quote unquote win. If anything, again, it's to uh, help you develop a good writing habit, a daily writing habit. And again, 250 words isn't that much to write. Uh, and I've been almost able to hit it. I'll show you that in a minute. Uh, here she helps you do the math of how to figure out uh, the, how much time you're spending, the amount of words you're writing, and at the rate. Um, this is something that I'm personally not doing for myself, and again, I will show you that in a minute. So she shows you uh, the challenge review, additional observations. We have daily reports, with this, which is basically your daily pages. So here we keep going. Now here is the challenge tracker, the challenge detail. So I have a start date, which was uh, September 15, which is when everybody started, which was day one of this 100 day challenge. That's my dog, Bruce. So if you're new to my channel, Bruce is our English bulldog. And when I film, he generally wakes up and he's probably gonna gnaw on a bone, so I do apologize. Uh, the end date for the 100 day challenge will be December 23. I allowed myself 14 flex days, which are basically days off. I'm sorry, Bruce, stop. Um, and then I have a title of my project and then a start and end word count. So I covered that up. Now here is the writing challenge. So we have 100 days, 100 chickens. In my particular case, I wanted to know what day I was actually writing. So I, um, made myself a little check mark down here where I highlighted it. And so as you can see, uh, 100 days, if you hit 250 words, you get to color in a chicken. So if you look at my days, today's the 23rd, so I need to uh, fill in for the past two days. So if you can see, on the first day, I did hit 250 words, and I did write. If you notice on day two, I highlighted it, which, which meant it was a writing day, but I didn't hit 250 words, so I didn't color it in. Now on day four, I don't, it's not highlighted and it's not colored in, 
So I know on this particular day, I basically had the day off. It was a flex day for me, which again goes back here where I gave myself 14 days. And um, th these are not hard and fast rules. So because I didn't do it, you know, wasn't upset, but it does give me an idea when I look back on this. Okay, so in the past almost three weeks, I took two days off, but I did write every single day. And for the days that were not colored, my chickens were not colored in, I know that I was uh, revising and rewriting uh, my work in progress. And I just didn't hit the 250 words because I was deleting a lot of words too. Um, so this is what the writing chain looks like. And then again, by the time we hit 100 days, which will be December 23, this should be colored in or not, but it should be highlighted also for the days that I did write. Now the next page is your writing total. And this is something that you should do every single day. And as you can see, I did not, but you can see my word count over here. And then, uh, so you would uh, keep your time, the, your words that you hit, your daily words, and then your um, rate, which again, I don't do. And then your, your challenges total of your time and your words. Again, I'm not keeping track of that. And I will show you that here in a second. This is the challenge review. Once we hit the 100 days, you can answer these questions and kind of get a feel of um, how, many, how many words you write your time. These are additional observation, so note pages. This is the first day of um, the daily report of the daily pages that you'll see in a second. So this is what it looked like. I wanted to include this and Okay, so uh, I just want to show you an example of my daily page. So this is day one, September 15. Um, in my particular case, for my chapter, I wanted a reminder of what I was, where I was in my story. So in this case, it was a funeral home. We were outside. And then some ideas of what I wanted to try to write about in my um, story. And then these are my word counts. So let me show you. How am I gonna do this? Let me show you a blank page. So this is what the blank page would look like. Okay, so you put your date here, the scene that you're gonna be working on and your description. And again, this is what I did. Uh, in this particular case, I wrote over 750 words. So I was able to color in my three chickens. And then over here, it's your writing session tracker. So your start, stop, time, words, rate. Again, I wasn't following this too much. What I did instead, and where do I have that written down? Actually would be on this page. So what I did was on the top, I did word count, start, and then my word count when I stopped. These would be my um, timed writing sessions. And then the uh, amount of words that I wrote, right, within a timed session. And then I would write, actually this part I would not write anything. Over here would be my page start, my page stop, and then the amount of pages that I wrote that day. So that's what that looks like. And so to give you an idea of this, so this was yesterday for me. So this is my word, my word count when I started. When I stopped, I wrote for 30 minutes, 288. Then I did another one. This is where I stopped for 25 minutes. I had 200 words, which gave me 488 words. And then, you know, then you keep going. So yesterday I wrote 1,653 words for a total of 90 minutes. I started on page 46. I stopped at 49, which three page total. So this is how I like to keep track and it works for me. So hopefully this will work for you. And let's see, I have a quote that uh, Susie posted on the Facebook group, which again, I will link down below. And it says, finish the damn book, nothing else matters. Stop second guessing yourself and write it through to the end. You don't know what you have until you finished it. You don't know how to fix it until it's all down on the page. And the quote is by Lauren, Pokies. I'm sorry if I'm pronouncing that wrong, but it was just a wonderful quote. 
and it hit home for me and I wanted to look at it every single day just to keep when I'm writing keep going don't stop don't question myself just keep going it'll work out so I have this written down and then over here I gave myself a little color code of as I'm writing during my time sessions if I'm stuck I generally stop writing or I spend a lot of time just sitting there you know looking it up online trying to research it you know sit there just daydream so instead what I decided to do during my sessions is if I come up with anything I have four colors that I will mark it as so I will highlight it change the color of the font so red for me would mean to look up clarify research purple is great idea brown is a questionable sentence thought is this the way I want to go green is something that I wrote and I'm not too sure if I like it or don't like it and when I'm done for the day and I look back on what I've written I can look back at this and go okay this was highlighted purple it's a great idea I'm going to keep running with it or it's green and then I'll reread it and decide if I want to keep it or not or I'll just uh, leave these colors in and then go back at some other time when it comes to editing okay and so now we keep going so day 24 so this is what the blank pages would look like and now they're stuck and then let me see I want to show you when you get to the end of page 10 10 days you come to your day check-in and here you would write down the last 10 days, the amount of words that you wrote, amount of time spent, and then your challenge so far. So that would be for however many days that you wrote, you would put here, and then your time's right there. And then there's your notes. Bruce, Bruce, hang on, I'm almost done. This is the day 31, and then we start all over again. And then at the very end, you will get your final check-in so this would be day 100 you would put in the total words written for the last 10 days time and then for the entire challenge how many words you wrote and then the time that you spent and then your thoughts about it and then this is the end page of congratulations your challenge was completed and then this is what it looks like this is Susie O'Connell. This is the last page of the uh, workbook planner. And again, I really like this because it's really simple. It has enough information to just keep uh, how you want to start your writing, highlights uh, or points that you want to hit while you're writing, potential roadblocks. So, you know, if your husband called or your wife called and wanted you to do something, you can write down here that that's what sort of stopped you from writing and then your notes over here and I needed something like this because I was having problems adding household chores things that I needed to do into my work planner and this is just enough just for my writing and then here again if you hit your work count this is the chickens that you would color in which I think is really fun and it's enough encouragement for me because I want to color in the chickens and so I try and write a lot in a day to try to color it in. And I think the farthest that I've written or colored in was about 1,600 words. So that's two, four. So I get to color in six chickens. So I highly recommend this workbook. Please check it out. Again, it's created by Susie O'Connell. I will link her page down below so that you can see the uh, workbook herself. And I will also link the Facebook group to the 100 Days Writing Challenge. Again, we're on day 23, but feel free to join. And I think we'd love to have you there. Everybody is really uh, active in the group and they're just really nice people. And I've enjoyed being in the group and I found myself writing for 20, so today's 23, I've written for three weeks and had two days off. So please check it out. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't give it a thumbs down again generally my channel is after the pin videos of my planners and what i've done the previous week if i don't see you again have a nice weekend and i'll just see you around bye